What's up, world? Hey, what is up, everyone? Hope all of you are doing very well. So today, we're gonna be changing things up just a little bit, um, and here's why. So as most of you know, Valentine's Day is coming up very, very, very soon, and I'm sure if any of you out there are just like me, you're single on Valentine's Day, and you have no idea what the hell to do with yourself. And I know we've all been there spending Valentine's Day by ourselves, um, being sad, feeling lonely. Why won't anyone love me? Okay, now here's the thing. Even though you're single on Valentine's Day, you don't have to be a Debbie Downer about it. You can still enjoy Valentine's Day with your beautiful, lovable, single self. And here are my tips to help you enjoy Valentine's Day as a single person. And also because I have nothing to do for Valentine's Day, and I figured, oh, why not? I'll make a video. It could be fun. Maybe. It could be awkward. We'll see. Here we go! Okay, so, tip number one to enjoying Valentine's Day by yourself. Eat something. Chances are you haven't been eating all day just because you're feeling really down about being alone on Valentine's Day. Um, but the thing is, once you get some food into your system, I promise you you're gonna feel a lot better. Food's awesome. You should always be eating. Now, since it's Valentine's Day, there are a couple ways you can go about this as a single person. So, if you're feeling brave enough, take yourself out to eat on Valentine's Day. Eat whatever you want, wherever you want, because you don't have to depend on another person. But, if you're not feeling up to that, then treat yourself. Enjoy yourself at home and eat the food that you love. And, for the record, I am not eating my feelings away. This, this is just a video, I swear. It's not a cry for help. And on the topic of eating the food that you love, here's tip number two. Treat yourself. Now, I don't think a lot of people realize this, but when you're single on Valentine's Day, that means you have that much more money to spend on yourself. You don't have to spend it on your dates, on dinner, on flowers, on presents. Basically, you can do whatever you want on Valentine's Day. You can buy shoes, buy a pair or two. You can go to Disneyland. If you don't want to go to Disneyland, you can go to a different amusement park. You can exercise, you can play music, you can get a tattoo. Honestly, you can do whatever you want to do on Valentine's Day because you are worth it. So treat yourself. If you absolutely cannot spend Valentine's Day by yourself, go out and spend it with friends. Because chances are you're not the only single person within your friend circle. So go out, play games, go drinking, have a Valentine's Day. Whatever you want to do, spend your Valentine's Day with friends and enjoy yourself. Give me a chance to carry your heart. Pick it back up when it's falling apart. Be who you want to be, love who you want to love, change who you want to change. Hey, what's up everyone? And that brings us to the end of this video. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. It definitely means a lot that you watched all the way until the end. Now, before I leave you, I just have one more tip to enjoying Valentine's Day by yourself, which actually happens to be the most important one. And that is, love yourself. Appreciate the fact that you are single on Valentine's Day. Okay, now I know there are a bunch of different terms for Valentine's Day. Um, I've heard Singles Awareness Day, Sad Day, anti-Valentine's Day, um, all of which, you know, don't have the most positive of connotations. But the thing is, it doesn't have to be that way for Valentine's Day. Valentine's Day is what you make it. So this Valentine's Day, embrace being single. Embrace the fact that you have the freedom to do whatever the heck you want. Because there is power in that. And just know, even if you are still sad, like, about wanting to spend Valentine's Day with another person, just know that no one in the world can love you better than you can love yourself. And that is very important. Yeah, I know it's not the most poignant way to end the video, but I just want to say again, thank you so much for watching. It definitely means a lot to me, and I hope that you got something out of it. Hopefully, you can cope a lot more easily with spending Valentine's Day as a single person. So yeah, again, thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please hit the thumbs up button. It would definitely mean a lot to me. If you want to see more content, hit subscribe. Um, and yeah, I hope all of you have a very happy Valentine's Day. And just remember, love yourselves. And uh, yeah, see you next time.